Hello friends, welcome back to Easy Click Learning. Ever stared at a messy sheet filled with annoying blank rows? Don't worry. Today I've got two super quick ways to delete all those annoying blank rows in just a few clicks. The second method is my personal favorite, and you'll see why. Alright, let's jump right in. Method 1. Go to Special. Want a faster method? You'll love this one. Select your data set. Click the first cell. Now, press Ctrl plus Shift plus down arrow. Then press Ctrl plus Shift plus right arrow to select the full range. Press Ctrl plus G or F5 to open the Go to window. Now click on Special. Then select Blanks. And hit OK. Excel will now highlight every blank cell in the selection. Right-click any of those highlighted blank cells and select Delete. In the pop-up, choose Entire Row. And hit OK. Done. All completely blank rows, gone. Just like magic. Method 2, Using Filter. Removing only fully blank rows without touching partially filled ones. So, what if your data looks like this? You've entered names and monthly values, but accidentally skipped a few cells, like here where Michael Smith is missing February and March data. We don't want to delete Michael's row because it still contains some useful info. We only want to delete rows that are completely empty, no data in any cell. Here's how to do it using a simple helper column. In a new column, type this formula in the first row of your data. This counts how many non-empty cells are in each row. Press Enter. Then drag the formula down to cover all your rows. Select your data including the new column by pressing Ctrl plus A. And press Ctrl plus Shift plus L to add filters. To filter for rows with zero data, click the filter dropdown in your helper column. Uncheck everything except zero. These are your fully blank rows. Click OK. Now, click on the first cell, then press Ctrl plus Shift plus down arrow to select all of them. Right click and choose Delete Row. Hit OK. Finally, press Ctrl plus Shift plus L again to turn off the filter. And just like that, only the truly empty rows are gone, and important rows like Michael Smith's are safe. If this trick saved you time, give it a thumbs up. Share it with someone who deals with messy data. And don't forget to subscribe to Easy Click Learning for more easy Excel tips. Thanks for watching. Keep your sheets clean. See you in the next one.